Hello, welcome to my humble abode. Guys, Instagram and Facebook were down before. Apparently someone hacked into them. How funny is that? I didn't really know what was going on because like I was trying to press on something and it wouldn't work, so I didn't I didn't think that were hacked though. That's weird. Anyways, I have some favourite things of January to talk about because this is a continuation from my beauty channel, I guess, but um, I did the beauty favourites over there and here I am doing Things like, things in pop culture, I guess, but like, I don't know. I don't know what to call it, like, culture favourites or, I don't know. Anyway, we'll start with music. First of all, this album, as I said, in like every social media platform I have. This album has been out for like a year and a half, but I just finally got into it. Tom O'Dell, Long Way Down. I love his music. The whole album is beautiful, especially Heal and Till I Lost and Another Love, but that was the mainstream one, I guess. He has this voice that's like captivating. It's 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 like it's a very British voice, obviously, because it's from Britain, but he doesn't sing American. Um, and um, it might sound like it's a bit off. It's kind of like the like Heim, like you know how it's kind of like sounds like they're not in tune, but they're really he really is like. I don't know if it's copyright though. Anyway, I'm just gonna make you listen to. Till I lost, because he does this one, he goes, oh, and he just goes, oh, and it just sounds like, oh, it's like depressing music, but it makes you happy, in like a bittersweet way, I don't know. Ready? Okay, ready? Here we go. Yeah, and then he has like the demo version and it's more stripped and laid back and it's just, it is beautiful and Heal is beautiful too, it's really depressing and I love it, he's like Heal, Heal, <laughs> I can't do it, I don't do it justice. Um, Hozier, I've been listening to his album, especially it's, I don't know what it's called, it's not called Someone New is it, it's like I fall in love just a little or a little bit every day with someone new. His voice is so deep and dark and again it's also <laughs> captivating it's just you know take me to church is is pretty good but his album is amazing and he is i don't know i just love his voice it's so dark and deep like george ezra oh i forgot about george ezra george ezra his his album is amazing wanted on voyage and all of his different all of his songs are about like traveling and stuff like amsterdam and barcelona and budapest <laughs> Wow, I love it. Oh, and Blame It On Me, now it's on the radio. Oh my god, it's beautiful. They're all beautiful, oh my goodness. Uh, Bastille, as always, they're my favourite band. They have their mixtape out that they came out with like last month. And um, the, the last track on it is um, the stripped back version of Skulls. Um, Skulls is more upbeat, it's like, I, I, I don't want to rest in peace. And then the other one's like, I don't want to rest in peace. The song basically starts with, um, oh my god, I can't believe I'm going into this. The song starts with, but Dan, the front man, Dan the man, and then it goes into, like, I don't know what his name is, but it goes into him and his, like, deeper voice, and then it has this, like, um, this part with his lady, like, an older black woman, um, but she's amazing, and she does, like, the, um, what is it called when you, like, oh, she does the belt. And then, it's like, and then there's a black lady and she does a belt and it's amazing. So it starts with Dan. And then it's different to Skulls because the lyrics change. Um, like the, when the guy sings it. But I like that they change the lyrics around and stuff like that. Because it makes it different to the actual song. Okay and then here goes the deeper voice guy. But then he changes the lyrics. Back to Dan. And then this is the belt. Wait for it. Okay, she doesn't really belt, but she just sings really loud. Oh, and the acoustic version of Torn Apart that I did with the Shazam. This hit. 
Shazam sessions. Oh my god, it's beautiful. The music video. My card got full, so I had to go empty it. And I think I should just stop talking about Bastille right now, or else I'm gonna start like fangirling and crying that Dan Smith is not my boyfriend. <laughs> Marina and the Diamonds, she's coming out with a new album called Fruit, and I'm so excited. But the song Fruit is really good as well. It's like classic Marina, and I love it. Um, this new band that I discovered called Years and Years, and oh my god, guys, I love them so much. The lead singer is like an actor that's been on Skins and stuff. His name is Oli something. He's like a hybrid between the guy that plays... Matt on Home and Away. I think his name was Matt. And like between Toby Regbo, who Regbo, Regbo, the guy from Rain, who I love. Um, he kind of is a hybrid between them. I feel like, but no, it's like he's the like the styles are like synths, like electronic, but it's also kind of like alternative. I love Desire. Um, Take Shelter, King, I love all of their new songs. They haven't come out with an album yet, but it's coming soon. But they have all these EPs out. They did a cover of Don't Save Me by Haim, which I find better than the original. At the start when you hear his voice, you're just like, what, is that old J? And then you're like, wait, is that Michael Jackson? And then it's kind of like... Um, and then um, David Guetta's Dangerous, I love that song, but like I heard the Sam Martin like acoustic where he's just him and his piano and he's singing it and it's so much better than the original. It's stripped back and it's just him and piano and even though I love violins and all of that, it's just, it's beautiful, listen to it. Movies. Um, I didn't watch that many movies this month, which is kind of weird for me because I always watch movies, but I did end up seeing... I had to watch Mary and Max for school because school starting on Friday and today's Tuesday and I have so much work to do. I still have to watch Spider-Man 1 from like 2002 <laughs> and Strange on a, Strangers on a Train. I've only seen one Hitchcock movie before so I'm excited for that. So that's for media but this was for literature. Mary and Max, it's a claymation with Philip Seymour Hoffman and um, Tony Collette. It's based around in Melbourne and New York. Well, not Melbourne, but like Mount Waverley, which is in Victoria, which is funny because like you hear things like that are so similar. Like, I don't know. It's uh, We're doing an analysis on it later in the year, but I, we were supposed to watch it. And what the director's message is, it's very, it's a, it's really sad. It's like very morbid as well. Um, the director, Adam Elliott's very I keep moving the camera. The director Adam Elliott is very kind of strange in the way that he portrayed mental illness. It's kind of based on his story with his pen pal and it's like got to do with a pen pal and stuff like that. And it's, it's got to do with like Asperger's and um, depression and things like that and how life can change when you have no friends or when you do have friends and it's really sad and so much, so much imagery in it and so much stuff. I can't wait to analyze it. I love analyzing things. No, I love analyzing TV shows and movies and stuff like that, but with books, I'm terrible. If you ask me to do a passage analysis, I will not, I will get a C plus. That's what will happen. I also want to watch more of the um, films up for the Oscars. So I watched Grand Budapest Hotel. I really want to watch The Imitation Game and The Theory of Everything. I'm really interested in the whole like, Kind of historical like biopics and stuff like that um but at the same time a lot of people like they get it wrong a lot and uh that kind of that's what i want to talk about with, an, with one of the tv shows i've been watching and it's different when it's like a book that's kind of talking about a true story because the book books don't try to don't try to this is what my friend was telling me books don't try to target like a mass audience they but tv shows and movies they do they need a mass audience so they might try to romanticize things a bit but it's not 
might not be accurate, which I don't know, people like, people don't like. I watched a kind of like this guy, he was like doing the worst movies of 2014 and he was saying that The Imitation Game was just a bad movie because it was inaccurate. And I'm just like, it's a movie, they're not supposed to be completely accurate, it's supposed to make you want to be there, not make you not want to be there, I guess. I don't know, except for The Hunger Games, you don't want to be in The Hunger Games. That's not even a true story though. <laughs> and um, I also saw Big Hero 6 in the cinemas. Um, recently because uh, the, the imitation game was playing later and everyone wanted to watch a movie now and I was like I want to wait till 9.30 and then they were like no let's watch it now and then after the movie finished I was like we have like 15 minutes let's go watch the imitation game and they were like nah and I was like screw you now TV shows my favorite part I love TV shows actually music and TV shows it's all my life because it's been holidays I've been watching uh, a lot of things. I'm really, oh, I'm really bad. <laughs> I should be doing homework, but I just watch TV shows all day. Um, Jane the Virgin. This show is like, I think I started watching it in December, but it was, it's the silliest TV show. But I've always wondered like what would happen if someone didn't have sex and had a baby, like they they got like IVF or something. And that show is like a telenovela. It's based on a, like an old telenovela, like Spanish, you know. Um, television novel, I guess that's what they call it, telenovela. It's like um, a soap opera from like the Spanish soap opera. So it's like got Spanish soap operas in it. It's based on a Spanish soap opera, and like it's so funny. Um, I don't know if I've ruined it for you anymore, but there's this girl. Her name is Jane. She's 24. Her grandma, because she was a result of teen pregnancy, so her grandma always told her to not have sex until she was married, because. Because her, she wanted her granddaughter to not live the same life as her daughter did. So she made a promise and she kept tried to keep that promise as much as she could. Um, but one day she accidentally got inseminated. Because there's reasons and it's like everything's connected like a classic soap opera but it's like not set as a soap opera. It's, <laughs> it's so good. Um, it's just so funny and... Like even though you might not like you might not like the idea of it because I remember my, I showed my friend it. Well, she watched. I told her to watch it and she watched episode three or something. And she said I don't like it, but I sat her down. And I made her watch it and she likes it. So it's a bit silly, of a silly concept and it would probably never happen in real life. But I love it so much. It's such a good show. Uh, okay, Parks and Recreation. I'm up to season five. How did I get to season five so fast? I don't know, but it is so funny. I laugh every time I watch it. Chris Pratt is always, already one of my favorite people. He, everything he says, I just laugh at. Um, and this is like... <sighs> it's, got, it's like the fat Chris Pratt, but I also love Chris, skinny Chris Pratt. I don't know, I just love all Chris Pratt. Um, and like, Nick Offerman is amazing. He's so funny. <laughs> I love Ron Swanson so much. <laughs> It's just one of those light-hearted shows you can just watch and just laugh at so hard. It's just so funny. <laughs> and Aziz Ansari, oh, he's so funny too. Oh, my thingy. Rain. I already did a season one recap of Rain and I wanted to do the season two, episode one to ten recap because there was like a break. Um, and now season... Now the new episode it has aired and I watched it and I really liked the new episode that came on Friday. No, it was Thursday, but in America, but in Australia it was Friday. I didn't get to watch it till yesterday though because I was at camp. I liked the episode. I didn't like the ending, but I really love the TV show. Toby Regbo, sexy. Um, Originals and Vampire Diaries came back. I watched the episodes. I liked them actually. They were really good. I liked, I liked them. And then, uh, this is not really a favourite, but like Suits is coming back and Scandal and How to Get Away with Murder. But they're coming back when I start school. Makes me upset. I'm just going to have to live with it. I should have fangirled more than I did. I feel like I'm missing a TV show, but... Foods. I made a grilled cheese last night that was amazing. I put mozzarella, halloumi cheese, Olives, Rocket, which I love Rocket, guys, Rocket is amazing, it's the best stuff in the world, and um, I spread it like garlic butter on it first, and it was 2am by the way, so it was like glorious, and I made two of them, 
and that's why today I'm not eating bread. I really that can make me lose some weight. Because um, I thought, you know, holidays, lose some weight. No, gained like five kilos. And also chocolate mug cakes, which again I should give up because I was into those like last holidays and they're amazing because all you have to do is mix up a bunch of stuff in your pantry and make a cake. But I have to stop. I always do a person favourite on my other channel. Toby Regbo. King Francis. If he dies on the show, I will cry. He's so beautiful. I call him sexy. On my Snapchat, I always film him and I'm like, sexy's back. If I could meet him, that would be great. That would be lovely. Because he's... And like I've seen like videos of interviews and stuff like with him and he's so funny. You know when it's like what superpower would you have? And like he was doing one and he was like, uh, <laughs> you know, there's like the classic ones like invisibility and stuff. But then he was like, you could also change, you know, indefinitely turn yourself into a laptop. <laughs> and that's like funny, like things that no one else thinks of. Like, I love that. It's so funny. It's so cool. It's just, anyway, that's all for today. Um... Should I film a recap of season 1 to 10? I think I will just like fill her in for all the live reactions I had. Um, and anyway, that's all. I'll see you guys. Bye.